given this great location, Santa Monica has always been a special place. And as we build toward the city of the future, we also respect and honor the fact that we're a city with a history. So we have exemplified the Southern California beach lifestyle for many years. Starting in 1930, Muscle Beach formed right near where we're standing. And that was where all the gymnasts and athletes from all over Southern California came to show off their stuff. This beach, which is about three miles long, has five million visitors a year. This is where they chose to shoot Baywatch in the 1990s. I mean, the show that told the world what it was like to be at the beach in Southern California was shot here in Santa Monica. We recently celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Santa Monica Pier. And it's been a long history and sometimes a shaky one. Back in the early 70s, a city council proposed tearing the pier down. The city revolted. They elected a new city council. This is one of the jewels of Santa Monica. It has been and will continue to be. We're committed to this pier. People think the coastal trail goes from San Diego to Crescent City. In truth, the coastal trail goes from San Diego to here in Santa Monica and from Crescent City to here in Santa Monica, because this is the place to be. Well, we love the fact that the public has this kind of access to and through Santa Monica on the Coastal Trail. And we have done our part and then some to make this accommodating to people with all kinds of modes of transportation. What you see here is a dedicated bike path. There's also a dedicated walkway a little bit more to the landward end. Right now, in the northern part of Santa Monica, the two converge. In the next couple of years, we're going to separate them there too for greater safety and convenience. We're an active and enthusiastic participant in the, in the coastal trail. Bicycle riding in Santa Monica is up 67% in the last two years. And when people come down here to the pier for those concerts in the summertime, we have free valet bike parking. You don't even have to worry about chaining your bike up. This is a bicyclist's town. And what we realize is every person on a bicycle is one less car on the road, and that's important to us. And I have to say, of all the places to come with a bicycle, this is it. This is such a beautiful ride. If you're doing it for exercise, you can do a speed sprint to the north. If you're doing it for people watching, going down toward Venice is one of the best rides in the world. This is a real asset for the city, and many people know Santa Monica from what is up on the plain, the main city part of our community. This is the heart and soul of Santa Monica. As for the city itself, we are always looking forward to how to become a better city. Transportation is a big challenge right now, and of course, we're working on that. One way in and out of Santa Monica, you would need pontoons for. So all the traffic has to come basically from the south or from the east. The streets can only handle so many cars, we know that. So we've encouraged light rail to come to Santa Monica. That's happening this year. And that the advent of light rail will be a big step for us in encouraging multimodal transportation, getting people out of cars. Bicycles are part of it too, as is our big blue bus. And we're in the process right now of rethinking and reconfiguring our big blue bus to better serve people who need to get to and from light rail. We need to connect to all three of them. So now our buses will be that connecting link to get you the last mile from the train to home, as well as serving everybody else who needs to get around within Santa Monica. You know, all my life, I, I've been a student of cities and cultures, and I do a fair amount of travel. I look at what other cities do and how we might emulate them or mistakes we might want to avoid. And I think Santa Monica has very consciously tried to design itself as a human-scaled city by the beach. I think the best thing about Santa Monica is the sense of community. It's a small enough city that everybody knows every neighborhood. I can walk into any supermarket in town and people will talk to me about local issues. And I love that direct democratic connection we have as a community with its own heart and soul. The slogan of Santa Monica is fortunate people in a fortunate city. 
And I do indeed feel fortunate just to live here. I'm, I'm doubly fortunate to get to represent the constituents to be the mayor. But the truth is being part of this community, getting to live in this very special place, I think is the best thing that's ever happened to me.